Since the creation of Police Scotland in April 2013, we've been focusing attention on the wider issues of cybercrime. With the creation of a national service, we have some dedicated units uh, who are tackling different elements of uh, online opportunities to perpetrate crime uh, against the communities of Scotland. Uh, we had a tragic incident uh, last July when young Daniel Perry uh, committed suicide after being the victim uh, of an online extortion. Uh, and that alerted us to uh, the on growing trend of uh, online extortions being perpetrated both within the UK um, but I guess made us search further in terms of the international aspect of that. As a result of that investigation uh, we gathered intelligence uh, and evidence uh, about a number of groups uh, who were perpetrating that type of criminality. Uh, we uncovered additional victims uh, in Scotland and then linked in with international law enforcement partners uh, through Interpol as time grew on and discovered that there was a, a growing sense of a need to tackle this type of criminality in a really significant way. Getting that level of cooperation for an international operation takes a huge amount of effort across jurisdictions with different people working, sometimes in slightly different ways, but in this case everybody was working towards the same aim. We wanted to tackle the criminality that we knew was having a really significant effect on a large number of communities across the world and individuals. The, the case of Daniel Perry is obviously tragic uh, and we came to understand that in other jurisdictions in every part of the world uh, there were similar tales uh, and we focused in on uh, a particular group uh, with other evidence gathering and intelligence coordinated by Interpol and then the lead being taken by the Philippines National Police um, which we were able to support uh, which has come up with the result today. It's fantastic to see that an organisation like Police Scotland can be a part of such a large-scale, wide-ranging international operation that can have a real impact on criminality who I strongly suspect thought there was little chance of being detected as they were targeting people literally on the other side of the world. Uh, and that's been shown today that that's not the case. There isn't anonymity through the internet and we'll do everything that we can to work with other law enforcement uh, jurisdictions to hold people to account uh, and keep people safer in Scotland. One of the key messages that we'd like to get out of today is that people can take some measures to keep themselves safer online. We know that the organised crime groups who target people will seek out uh, vulnerabilities either in people's knowledge uh, or at times uh, through age uh, or other vulnerability. Uh, children, um, by the fact that they are children, uh, are vulnerable to this type of exploitation and criminality. So I would say to people, be careful uh, online. You can't always be assured of who you're contacting or who you're in communication with if you don't know who that person is. People are not always who they say they are and you should be careful of giving across uh, private information uh, and getting involved in anything uh, that you wouldn't want to be disclosed more publicly if you can't be assured of who it is that you're communicating with. I would also say if people do become the victim of this type of crime, then it is set up very much so that people don't report it to the police. What we've shown today is that uh, when people do come forward, then we can investigate it and we can take action and we need to know about it. Any report that people make will be treated with confidentiality uh, and we will take every measure that we can, working in partnership with other law enforcement agencies in the UK. Um, we had a, a particularly large amount of help, which was exceedingly successful from SEOP, the Child Exploitation Online Protection Centre, as part of the National Crime Agency, uh, who are a global leader uh, in terms of tackling networks like this.